when I expressed an interest in playing rugby, it was a firm no. I stopped playing and didn't really think about rugby again until I got to university. So played for university and then kind of alongside that played for like a local club. Loughborough Town, uh, their team manager at the time reached out to me like, I've seen you play, do you fancy a run around? I was terrified, I was like, oh God, like, that's championship, like, I can't do that. But I was like, you know what, yeah, I'll go, I'll give it a go. I really enjoyed this, when can I do it again? I think at that point kind of switched for me from I'm here to make friends and just enjoy it to I want to get better, I want to learn, maybe I can push this even further. So I'm actually from rugby originally. I'm from a very traditional family background. My dad's Nigerian, my mum's Jamaican, very academic. And so sport wasn't something they actively encouraged. And, but when I expressed an interest in playing rugby, it was a firm no. So I picked it up secretly when I was like 14 years old. I turned up to a session and instantly was like, this is the sport for me. And I remember my dad found out probably a year after I started playing, which wasn't fun, um, but then was expressly kind of told, we've got to cut the site, you're going to GCSEs. I stopped playing and didn't really think about rugby again until I got to university. I went down to Freshers' Fair, went to the rugby stall, and the girls were just leery. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's where I'm going. This is where my people are, this is my sport. So played for university and then kind of alongside that played for like a local club um, as and when I had some time. Loughborough Town, uh, their team manager at the time reached out to me like, I've seen you play, and we know you've got a weekend off, we're short on numbers, do you fancy a run around? I was terrified, I was like, oh God, like, that's championship, like, I can't do that. But I was like, do you know what, yeah, I'll go, I'll give it a go. I really enjoyed this, when can I do it again? So I stuck with Loughborough Town. And that was the year before the new Prem 15s came in. Um, and Loughborough Town partnered-ish with Loughborough Lightning. And we did pre-season together. And then we had a full contact game. It was the first kind of bit of contact that we'd done. The coach pulled me aside and was like, where's that come from? Like, we want you to be kind of first team um, and rugby I think at that point kind of switched for me from I'm here to make friends and just enjoy it to I want to get better, I want to learn, maybe I can push this even further. December 2017, I had a double ankle fracture. Still tried to hobble off the pitch. The doctor said to me, don't worry, it's a broken bone, like bones heal, you'll be fine. Started thinking about that case so that we're in pre-season now, it's a good time for me to come back. So I, I felt really good, um, I'd been signed off. We had a pre-season fixture against Harlequins. I was so nervous going back on. I was like, oh my God, what if this ankle's not healed? What's gonna happen? Um, and then the first time I caught the ball, being back on the pitch, my other leg just went. So in that moment, I was like, I fully accepted, well, rugby's, rugby's done for me, what now? I had two surgeries, um, one to reconstruct the knee. Uh, which was successful, and then one where they tried to repair the nerve, but they just said that was too far gone, there's nothing they could do. My right foot had paralysis, so I couldn't lift it, I couldn't move my right foot at all. This is still a sport that I really, really love. What can I do in rugby instead that's not playing? I, mean, I thought, well, coaching, I've got this qualification. I'd had some experience, but not really invested myself in that process. The head coach of the counter programme was stepping away and they said to me, do you want to come in and kind of run this programme? And I was like, I'll give it a go. And I am so glad I did. I did the under 15 girls who were just a vibe, like the energy they've got and just the, yeah, they really reminded me about everything I loved about rugby. Just really enjoying parenthood, all of that 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 brought. Continued coaching during that period. But just one day, really randomly, my foot just started moving and it had no movement at all for two years. I just remember being like, oh, I'm gonna play rugby and him being like, don't be ridiculous. I'd obviously done like no exercise for two and a half years. Like I wouldn't do any contact, I'd just go down and run around, like try and get fit again. I had a ball back in my hands and I was like, I think I could do this, I could play rugby. And so I played my first game of rugby four years after it happened. Got through, came off, I was so emotional. My daughter was there, my partner was there. It was just the best moment. I'm so grateful to have been able to do that. And then Leicester Tigers were having like some exhibition games. They were like, we're gonna form a women's team. We're short on numbers, we're just trying to like recruit and stuff. Do you want to come down and run around? 
And I was like, I've not played rugby in four years, apart from this weekend. But I just thought, you know what? I'm just, look at this. I'm at Matty Woods Welford Road again. Never thought this moment would come. Just enjoy it. So I did, and I think I played half an hour, and then they were like, do you want to come back? And I was like, of course I did. But I'd kind of said, I'll give you the champ. I'll give you the championship year, because that's what I've got in me. I've got one more year. I went to watch um, the Prem 15's final, and it, the standard is incredible. So I'm so excited to try and contribute and be part of that environment and, and do whatever I can to support the girls and the team. And I know now all I want is to just really enjoy it.